So let me just explain if you're still confused. It wasn't bad, but definitely was Don't ask popcorn to call it up on stage. Let's make curry, banana skin. Yes, man. Welcome to this week's social media countdown in our readers. Welcome. She met your roll like Honda, load like gunshot. Be a bit of cup in my Honda. Crazy me, a nigga like cup, a presto flat like tail with a full. Box cover, this is Dutty Berry and welcome to a brand new top 10 social media countdown. Jesus, peep, this countdown is going to be blazing. So make sure if you're watching right now, hit the subscribe button. Why are you not subscribed? Subscribe right now, hit the thumbs up button. Big up the people who are on the live. Anyway, so let's get into this week's social media top 10 countdown. <laughs> The dirty or the berry yeah, the juicy or the scoop All the things are going on and missing on the news Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner I'm coming soon All the drama when you want you for tune into the youth Like yo, hey, Box cover I'm cover all the topics like a evening Pot cover, mix up, blender All them suck me out what happened all the week Yo, just tune in, zine Number 10, Creamy Review Mirunga Ranga Ring Gang What? <laughs> All right, readers. so this video, I have to start off with this particular video because I think it sets the countdown for this week's social media countdown. Now, it comes from a travel influencer by the name of Chloe Jade, um, and she's the type of influencer that she, she travels, she goes to different countries, like to, you know, she likes to experience the culture, and she does reviews and highlights it on her social media, in particular, TikTok. So on this particular um, journey, it took her to Jamaica, and she she decided to have an adventure at the Devon House. Yeah, because she didn't want some of that ice cream. This is how it went. Is this ice cream worth $10 and waiting over an hour in line? Well, I decided to find out. In Kingston, Jamaica, this ice cream shop is known as one of the best in the world. It was on the top 10 ice cream places in the world by National Geographic. Devon House Ice Cream. Devon House itself is very cool because it was home to the first black millionaire in Jamaica. So historical significance there. Anyway, when we arrived, we saw this line and we were like, yeah, I guess, why not? It's something that you're supposed to do while in Kingston. Finally, after her about 45 minutes we got to this point but there was still a lot more to go once we got inside we were about 15 minutes out at this point and then when i went to pay i realized that it was like ten dollars but i was like well i just waited an hour in line i better just suck it up and get the ice cream honestly upon first glance i was like this is a ten dollar ice cream i don't really get it but like i said i had waited 70 minutes in line so i literally had no choice at this point i just picked whatever the first thing i saw and i was just hoping for the best i'm pretty sure i just paid ten dollars for this ice cream but whatever I have to say, I mean, it wasn't bad, but definitely wasn't worth 70 minutes in line and $10. So Little Miss went there, you know, and that was her review. And me never like it, me not gonna lie, me never like it. The spirit of Nanny of the Maroons was just like the girl that deserved to get her. I'm ignorant. I want class to know and talk some different things. You know, like, me just never like it at all. And the Jamaicans rushed out in her comment section telling her all kind of colorful expletives. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, my bad. I'm and first of all, me don't know who tell you forgot Devon House on a Sunday because if you didn't do like research, you don't know say Sunday is the most traffic. That is where everybody in Jamaica after them dinner feel fit something nice. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, man. Come on. And you're talking about the $10 for the cone. You took the expensive cone. That's the waffle cone. Um, cool, and she had thought she could get it cheaper in other places and I'm like yeah but them not top 10 in the world Devon holds ice cream top 10 in the world and so you have to pay for that history and you have to pay for that level of niceness that is all and so remember earlier I talked about setting the tone for the social media countdown let it be noted that this particular Chloe Jade video is, one, is actually her highest viewed video on TikTok I know why, because of Jamaicans, the fact that she was able to enrage Jamaicans so much to the point that we showed up and showed out in our numbers because we are very opinionated people and we tend to really make culture, we tend to set a lot of trends and so I have to caution like Jamaicans that we don't always become so responsive to things like this because the nature of social media is that any engagement is good engagement. Any type of engagement, you're only going to help to propel the person and to give more popularity. And that is actually working in their favor. And so this girl, even though the people in Makosa wrote, she is happily replying to most of them because that is driving her engagements. Like she has done a lot of videos going to other nations and she would be getting, uh, I guess, like 30,000 views, 
40,000 views, 50,000 views, um, some probably highest up to 700, 800,000. But which one tipped her over to the 1 million? The Jamaican uh, review of uh, Devon House. So just be mindful of that, Beridos. But yes, yeah, so I'd love to hear from you, Beridos. What do you make of when um, tourists go to a different country and uh, they leave reviews like this? Are you here for it? Do you think they need, they need to do more research? Do you think it tends to be disrespectful to culture? Sound off below. Mm -hmm. Number nine, whoopee. Treat me movie. Okay, Maridas. So this particular um um one definitely is quite delightful. So you know, I tend to watch a lot of TV, a lot of um talk TV, and on this particular occasion, I was watching the the view. I mean, it's just appalling. It, it sickens me. I woke up this. So Angela Bassett went to the view to promote the upcoming movie uh, Black Panther Two. Okay, and in the middle of the conversation, they had a a moment where Angela shared this about Whoopi's kindness. Glorious to be in Jamaica making a film. You know, to that point. You know, so that was fun. But I do remember while we were there, um, just being amazed because. The crew worked so hard for us during that shoot, yeah. and and it was a whole thing about you know when you're away this thing called per diem, and it was something they were sort of getting a short shrift on it. Mm -hmm. I recall, and she came in, Hurricane Whoop, and she was just like, I will go right in here, and they're going to be paid fairly. Uh -oh. And so yeah. she, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 it was like you gotta do the right thing. Well, the right thing is going to be done. Yeah. You're well, going to be shamed for not doing it. All the folks that came from California and New York yeah. had the union behind them, but the oh. folks that they got locally mm -hmm. were not getting for you. what mm -hmm. they need. Well, this is, you know, this we have to, if we don't look out for each other, right. who's right. going to look out for you? Right. Oh! You know, honestly, I just love to hear stuff like this. This are the type of excitement I love to see. Sometimes we can't talk about the drama, but these are the type of things that actually give you insight into somebody's heart, their humanity. And so, I don't know if you're not too young and don't remember this movie that was um, done, that released in 1998 called How Stella Got Her Groove Back. That was a movie that talked about a 40-year-old um, a woman who came to, the, to Jamaica and found herself a little young thing, carrying back a fire and one bag of excitement. Mm. If he looked that good with his clothes on. Ooh. If I weren't in my right mind, I swear you were trying to hit on me. Are you paying attention? And so it is nice to see that Whoopi Goldberg and, you know, we talk a lot about the creative industry in Jamaica not getting supported, that she saw that there was an issue and she dug into her pockets to ensure that the local Jamaican workers were properly compensated. So right now, a round of applause, round of applause. And if you're watching this, go up on Whoopi social media and just put some Jamaican flag and bigger up wherever she can receive the message. And so now, since I'm on the topic of how Stella got her groove back, who didn't know said Dennis Hunt was actually featured in the movie? You sure look happy to see your mom? Yeah, man. Let me show you how happy I am. As well as, um... Miss World herself, mm -hmm. Lisa Hanna. Yeah, man, so them actually have um, acting credits, but I must say IMDB. Anyway, Burritos, what did you make of Whoopi's kindness? Sound off below. Number eight, Patrice burned me lava. Okay, no, so, you know, this one I, I never saw coming. So, recently there was actually a Creole music festival that was held, and the headliner was Burner Boy. You know, Burner Boy last, last, and all of them big excitement there. Now, if you follow social media, you know that Burner Boy is known for his very um, electrifying performances. We've seen the videos where the crowd just totally captivated, and he seems to always deliver. But it looked like this was not so when he showed up to the Creole music fest has been noticing the crowd's lack of energy and kind of scolding them for oh it and they are responding by withholding are their chairs and their enthusiasm just a slight correction he was slated for a 1 a.m. Sunday stage time instead he performed at the next day show at 3 a.m. the lengthy setup time did not sit well with the audience to hurry him up they started chanting Ale, 
Ale, Ale Maria. Ale is Creole for come on. Oh, so that came from CNC3 television and um, wow, that never looked good from Brenner Boy part. So after Brenner Boy performed, the next person to close the show, I guess, was Patrice Roberts. I know Patrice Roberts, a big bad soca artist with, with our big single. So I mind my business. And so while she was there, she took a time to say this. Somebody make some noise right now. Wait. The play my arms here again. I supposed to perform for you long time ago. But you know what? The pay three million dollars to somebody who ain't mash up the ground like me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Not Patrice Roberts coming for Burner Boy. You know, um, you know, in this, in, in, in I, I'm gonna say, Patrice, talk your shit. Talk your shit. You know, I'm gonna give you that pass, just like, you know, so you say you're, you're representing for the Caribbean, you've always represented proudly for the Caribbean, and um, if you felt, um, you know, like this, and, you know, and the whole entire idea that you have foreign acts that come in and, you know, they don't really respect the country and tend to get a high amount of money um, for their set, you know, talk your talk, talk your talk, nobody, you know, hey, you did what you did, and you definitely got the audience pumping, and so, I don't know, Burritos, like, what do you make of this? Are you Team Patrice Roberts? Are you okay with how she responded? Or you think you're going to just give Burna Boy a pass for, you know, not handling things the best right here? Sound off below. <laughs> Okay. Number seven, mackerel promo, meeting food. Okay, so you know one of the things I love about Jamaican personalities is their undeniable talent when it comes to promoting an event. I've always talked about it. I think at some point in time I need to do a top five Jamaican personality promo specialist. I think you have to have Daima in there. Like when it comes to promo, Daima does not play. You have to put Daima in there. She's definitely up there. And um and I want to comment some other people right now because I know them, them, they both. Oh, yeah, for bring in like all um, the Dali them. When it comes to a rebel, when it comes to rebel, um, pretty, no man, them, they, they, them, no. TC, them, them, them have the talent of promoting an event. And, um, also, I think I want to throw into the conversation with this video, Mackerel, because she coming like she ready for go take care of everybody else's food. Oh, I want people that don't need to promo Queen Mackerel. Watching the people, you see when they want to look good or fit them, you see when they want to serve me long shoes them, you see when they want to quality handbag them, you know, I go run, go over to inspired for less watch other people we are talking about the balenciaga we are talking about the burberry we are talking about the gucci we are talking about we make it clap we are talking about the chanel and we are talking about the louis vuitton watch other people remember i don't eat that product them here remember see i don't know food for restaurant for product them here we are going to run over them instagram we are going to follow them and i go place on the order right now because they do shipping worldwide me not ask twice me not talk twice me not bet me bet you know and tell me i tell you no know. run go over there now check them out them girl out oh come on man come on come on that is it that is it that is how you promote a particular product that is how you promote an event like that is the type of energy you have to give the little good girl energy look for attitude yeah you don't know so we are talking i don't know that don't know like back in the long time days me also people would have said like yo bring your queen and left your machine they would have them little type of saying they make it a date and don't be late but them they are long time something now you have to come in with like on a matter pair you have to come in with simile metaphor you have to come in with right angle triangle you have to take things to a different level man now the people they want to see a venn diagram in a oh yeah promoter event you have to put in a tool like a dance move you get me them look something that you have to yeah you get me can't just do it regular degla that's a long time thing bc before christ Oh wow, I really just went off on a whole entire tangent. 
But at this point in time, I think the Beridios are used to this. Y'all are used to it. Right now, if you're watching, just subscribe. Why am I having people watch the, the, the social media countdown week after week? I uno cannot hit the subscribe button. What am I doing now? Talk to me. What have I done now? About 15 million years made on YouTube and you tell me that you just stingy not wanting me to get to the 300,000 mark? Come on man! Look at this quality content! Look at this! Okay? That's it. Okay, we can move to the next topic. <laughs> Number 6. Rihanna interview me. That Rihanna range just won't let up. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, Marita. So Miss Fenty Beauty herself, Rihanna, is back again because she's promoting the um the new Fenty Fenty Fashion Show. Um the Savage Fenty Fashion Show that she she has. Um and so um it's a good opportunity to see how she's looking, how she's sounding, how she's acting. And so she caught up with American journalist entertainment reporter Scott Evans and he got her to share her journey on motherhood. Whole other beast, right? right? Like life starts over when you become a parent. Mm -hmm. Like it's like you life that you've never known before. You get a second full book, not a chapter. It's like a new book completely, Ooh. right? The beginning is like you're tripping acid every day. You're like it's wild, yeah. trippy as hell. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. You won't know that because you'll never have the opportunity to actually give birth. <laughs> you will never have those hormones right. weirding you out like that right, and right, telling right. you, wait, I have a baby? Oh my God, it's crazy. You look at him and he's yours, but he's a stranger and he's new. And you're learning him as he's learning you and learning the world. It's, it's an amazing experience, yeah. honestly. Yeah. But the thing that I, I really... His eye contact, that's some Oh my God, when he looks at me in my eyes, my whole soul is like, I can't tell if it's cold or hot. Mm -hmm. It's just like dropping, it's like amazing. Well, if he's oh! oh my, oh my God, oh my God. Am I, am I the only person feeling the tears? Am I the only person feeling the tears right now? Like, I get so emotional, babe. Oh. That is it. That is it. Like, we've all watched Rihanna grow up in front of us and just to see the level of maturity and where she is right now. I just want to ask the mothers who are watching right now, do you echo the same sentiments that um, Rihanna shared? Like, was motherhood and becoming a mother, did you feel that same feeling? Sound off below. Mm -hmm. Number five, Sherrilee Jamin. Me honorable. Okay, so the honorable Sherrilee Ralph, she is doing quite a media tour. Like, she's all over these um entertainment TV shows, sit down interviews, she, she's, she's doing everything. Um, so she went on The View, she went on Kelly Clarkson's show, she went on Jennifer Hudson's show, and then she made an appearance on my girl Sherry Shepard's uh, new talk show, The Sherry Show. And what I liked about it, you know, you see one thing with Sherry, she ever give you that Jamaican flavor. Take a look. Now I introduce you, I introduce you as the Honorable Cheryl Lee Ralph because you were awarded the Order of Jamaica. Yeah. You know, there is, it's sort of like when Denzel got the Medal of Honor or Idris became Sir Idris Elba. I am now the Honorable Cheryl Lee Ralph, Order of Jamaica. I love that Bayesian girl. I love her. Yes. She has, she has such brilliance. She has such style. And you know, you can see that she knows she has it when she walks into the room. And I'm like, yes, yes. As we would say in Jamaica, we said, go the girl. Go the girl. She ain't your body girl. Go the girl. Go the girl. Wine your body girl. Go the girl. Spin your roll girl. Go the girl. My girl, you a murder. Broke out, broke out when they nam 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 Kill them with the wine, kill them with the wine, kill them with the fast waistline. Murder. Okay. Well, once again, gone off on another tangent. Like, why am I my own family guy Kotoi? Wow. Anyway, so that is what Shirley Ralph did. And so you hear just a talk about Rihanna. So Shirley Ralph actually modeled on the, the Savage Fenty show. And I have some pictures for showing sure right now. When I have the video, but we can't give you no look up. Yeah. Of the pictures, take a look. Come 
on, man. Look at no. Come, come, come on, man. Look at material. Look at material. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, Maridos, that is it for Shirley Ralph. Now, let me just tell you. See, every interview you watch, she's going to find a moment to say a Jamaican phrase like, wow, big up yourself, Miss Honorable. Right about now, it's time for the big up segment. Well done. Before the girls and sexy and love. Run song. Sing along. Well done. Big up the pronoun. First of all, the big up segment, I have to go on big up social media personality, Jeffrey, on his first uh, Smile Jamaica interview. Congratulations, boss. I have a tongue, man. No, what, what? You can't just speak English? No, that's English. And also, I have to go and big up all the UA graduates 2022. Big up on yourself, on your work hard. And now, on you know, just like poised for, you know, just being global trendsetters. Fart through it. Or maybe you fling your shoulder and stir fry through it. And finally, on the big up segment, I have to go and big up the Mind Over Matter um, YouTube channel, Mind Over Matter podcast, like um, it with my Boyne, um, she's the host. I was the, the guest, what, last week or week before last? And that conversation was just like incredible. I think it's one of my best like moments, just like sharing who I am and my entire journey. <laughs> Welcome to my Nova Matter, um, Roshane. Yeah, you can't call me Dutty, you can't call me Barry, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I have a few more years with the name Dutty, and then after that, I'll change it to probably D Barry or just go by um, Barry. But thanks for having me. Yeah, man, but you know, I number four graduation day, make crab round at the roundabout. <laughs> readers so this particular video comes from smile jamaica so they interviewed a mother and daughter and and they were able to just share their journeys you know selling downtown and you know coming from little um beginning she was able to pull pull all her efforts and ensure that her daughter was able to graduate leave from the university of the west indies with a degree Fear. I feel very happy to know that I have a mom that I can always depend on and because she's always there for us to be honest I've always said it to my friends if it's okay it's okay it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> breathe if yes man it's okay see I love this because right. she sacrificed for you and now you just want to make her proud right and that's what you're going to do with this degree? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. your friends couldn't believe that, that that's what your mom did. When you told them, why were they surprised? Um, basically because, you know, sometimes because you put yourself together and so forth, people always think that, you know, you have a different background. It's not because I have, you know, a mom doing what she's doing, mean that I can't look good, I can't come on Instagram and be, Alexia, that's you know. Congratulations, Alexia Hubert. Um, you are now a graduate of the university, and in the interview, she shared that she's going to uh, pursue her master's right now, and her mother will be supporting her all along the journey. No, this, no, come on, man, come on, man. Can we come, give me a thumbs up right now for this feel good story? <laughs> yeah. Go today to Heroes Circle and buy. All the crab and corn. all the soup Rose and, and all the corn. Rose. Yeah, Rose, yeah, my, yes. sister. my sister, the Rose. Yeah, yeah. All right, Baritas, you know, so take your time right now for big up somebody in the comments who was instrumental to your success right now. Sound them off, give them them name. Okay, Baritas. Mm -hmm. Number three, Valiant. This. Wow. Okay, Berido. So let me just talk about the Mr. Kachi Atalai artist Valiant. Valiant, Valiant. No, he has been just burning up dancehall scene since this video um got viral. Brother Dipo. Brother Holy. Kachi Atalai. Outside Alai. Alai. <laughs> so you know, usually when somebody just busts online, people tend to think that it's gimmicks, especially because this was not necessarily connected to his musical ability. This was just something that he said that became a slang and went viral and um this guy has just been able to 
take that moment and then push his music like simultaneously and I, I think this was just done in quite a genius way I don't know if this is this is just solely his doing or his um the the cumulative effort of uh, several persons his team family etc no um he recently went on Jeffrey's let's be honest podcast and um this bit of um bit of the interview started making the rounds online are we are the one thing when I really lean on nobody again, or right? more I'll get to you to not just focus on the thing. People only think I'll go on the strength, not go on the strength. Focus, believe in yourself. Because more while people see your greatness and don't want you go past them, is it? So once that dropping up, people started to say that he was, I guess, shading, throwing words on popcorn. Fool, did you try to tell me? And I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, man, them say he was shading popcorn and really boss. And I said to myself, no, man. I think say ah oh, valiant would have do that no valiant. Why what many if you look up my mind? Valiant. I think say he would have really do that at all. Eh? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And so in the middle of that, somebody posted a throwback clip of uh Popcorn actually introducing Valiant at the time. This was before he did get the bus um on stage when Popcorn kinda did, you know, mm, take a listen. Popcorn this valiant on stage. <laughs> They don't like you. I have to tell you straight. So if you're not ready for go up on stage, don't ask popcorn to call it up on stage if you're not ready. So they better have a training camp. So they tell him, go to the what? Oh wow, oh yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, he got reprimanded on stage, like that is some, yeah man, that is some, you know when you have the, the what the teacher name again, the, the strict one. The dean, the dean of discipline, that is what Popcorn did to him on stage right there. Like, wow. Yeah, man, me that kind of shame. Like, what the queen of meme say? No, me shame. Shame and kill me. <laughs> but if anybody for this year like that, make it be a big international celebrity like Popcorn. Yeah, man, that is the way. But um, this other video popped up now that actually showed that uh, Valiant would never, he never feel offended by it. What say? Yeah, grow me. If you listen to my song, um, I have a song about that blessings. You see, if you watch blessings video, you see it. I me call it a transformation. What the advice that him give me, it grew on me. Come here, say, bomba. I really get the opportunity to run out and say to papi, and me even introduce myself. If you watch it, me even introduce myself. Me I sing and I turn my black so. So I won't be that nervous, nervous, is it? If I never for the OG. All right, there you have it. Okay, I need to stop that. That was last week's social media countdown. Like, thank you for enjoying that countdown so much. Anyway, so it's nice to see that uh, uh, Valiant, even if I didn't feel offended or feel like Popcorn did violate him, he violated him. He took this as a learning moment to build his craft and to just like hone in on his talent. And now he's root, reaping the fruits of all of that labor. So congratulations, you know, Valiant. And this are the type of, you know, introspection. I feel like more young artists and more aspiring talents need mm-hmm talk on the phone i have no luck i saw my link mama g for the product i'm a Number two, curry banana skin. <laughs> no. I mean, what is that? This burritos. Oh, wow. No, in the last couple of social media countdowns, I tend to be featuring some very innovative way what I'm going to dub as creative cooking. Yes, man, people are putting their spins on some very common or not so common food items. No, I've also, I've talked about Ramesh Tesusa before. He is the, the, the very popular um, TikTok chef. He is known for taking some items that you wouldn't think so could have cooked and making them into food. Like, I don't know how this brother do it, what is in his mind, but he constantly is just popping out um, these very interesting um, chefings. So, this particular video now, he decided to do curried banana skin. Take a look. Let's make curry banana skin. You'll never waste banana skin again. Them I wish for me 
now cut up the top and the bottom of it cut the banana skin in your desired size and put aside to our pot we're gonna add avocado oil curry give that a mix and add onion bell pepper scallion and thyme saute then put water add the banana skin right after be sure to have enough water to cook it season with jerk season onion powder all purpose and sugar same time we're gonna add irish and carrot be sure to taste the water before you cover banana skin will taste like 80 percent of what you season it when halfway cook add more curry now we cook for a couple more minutes you know it's ready when the irish and carrot are stuffed why oh oh mm, oh oh god oh wow Mmm, mmm. Okay, well, um, I, you know, mmm, mmm. Would I, would you try this burritos? I want to hear right now. If you're watching the live in the comments, would you try curry banana skin? Cause right now that look like say you're going to book an appointment to your toilet, to the nearest toilet. That is what that look like. That look like my belly is a bubbling over. Hallelujah. Mmm. Over yeah, well wow that was disgusting. No, honestly, Barry, what is what is with you and these cutaways? What is you know what you need to give Family Guy a break? Or do I have a voice inside my head that is talking to me while I am doing the countdown? Oh wow, and I think yeah, I feel awkward now because now the burritos are looking Barry burritos are looking at me now and they're kind of thinking that I'm a little cuckoo. Oh God, well just smile and they'll forget about it. Nah, <laughs> anyway, so back to this. Will you actually try curry banana skin? Sound off below. Cool it with pizza eyes. Scan them, you don't know a spice, and you're watching the Dutty Berry Show. Keep it locked. Spice it up. And number one goes to. Spice publicity stunt. My word, my. Wow. My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. Number one goes to spices, publicity stunt, question sign, because I know I don't think we really know. Okay, so burritos, so we have been on quite a roller coaster for the past couple of days after um, this new story broke out that Spice was in the Dominican Republic. Um, she was doing plastic surgery when things went wrong and that she was allegedly in a coma, then she was not, then she was having heart issues then um um all kind of things then she recovered she's doing okay up to now i don't think we have any concrete evidence to know if this was just um fake news or there was actually some sort of um accuracy to some of these claims these stories so let me just explain if you're still confused now what i can tell you is that the only concrete thing that we have seen come from the spice camp was um this recent post that was put up on our story um of a singer called same mouth Oh, that? Yes, people are thinking really oh, that. Oh. So when that dropped, I'm like, hmm. I can't get out. Um, so that means this was all some outlandish, outrageous plan to promote this single. No man, say it can't be so. Say it cannot be so. No, let me tell you, I wasn't really fully caught up in it because I was just like, why? Spice, Spice is the controversy queen. She has learned from Vibes Cartel, the king of controversy. And I think that she is setting up herself to be the queen of controversy. So I was very much like, hmm. But I was saying to myself that this is something about health. This is something about death. I mean, I think nobody would have really play with that. This seemed too serious for somebody to tamper with. But who? With this post, I'm like, mm-mm. Because from long time, I was saying, say, here what? If something is getting out of hand like this, I feel like her team and somebody that put up something on our page will say, hey, I hear the concern. We do not wish to speak at this moment in time, but we ask for some privacy and priors. But until we are ready, we will give you a, a full update on Spice's condition. Something like that for kind of put the public and give them a little bit of ease, given that there is so much just like chaos and false news that was going around. So when we never see that now, me are like, mm. No man, this kind of sound weird. This random, this page just come out and said this and stuff. Me, I said, mm-mm. Mama say, no, Barry, shut up your mouth because at the end of the day, you don't really know. And I am going to choose to just say that, you know, give this woman some strength because it could actually be a, a real issue. So I just did kind of draw back and, and give her the benefit of the doubt. But seeing this now, the public and every, everybody is now saying, why? 
Did Spice just put together this whole entire plan to promote this song when you same mouth? Stop! Don't you ever! But what I would tell you is that, yeah man, Spice are the controversial queen, but this is not our first time. I'm a big Spice fan, like from a long time, from Spice, I say Scandem when she have on like the gold, the platinum ear. And so I know Spice, I know how she gets when it is promotion time, and um, she loves the controversy. So right now, this is a segment that I'm going to call, The History of Spice's Controversy. Ow. And let me just date, take things back to 2014 when she put up a whole entire thing with she and her boyfriend at the time, Nicholas where um, Nicholas posted pictures of she and a man and then Spice put out a thing for say she and Nicholas break up compound on stage with Winford Williams one whole entire things but you see when push come to shove it was to promote the single so me like it Jump into the, the big stories swirling in the media right now Ah, tell me about it Um, It's just an act of jealousy um, My boyfriend found some pictures and he didn't really like it but it's pictures for my um, video shoots. I have a new song called Sobe Like It. And we did a shoot, but he's always with me, always on set, but this time he wasn't there. Okay. So him just see this picture pop up with me and this guy. So he didn't, so know, just he didn't know what the video was He video didn't know what like. the scenes was all about because he okay. wasn't on set, he wasn't there. Okay. And so, just jealousy. So why did you say he found? Is it that you were trying to hide these pictures from I was me? Then, I remember the moment when she and Naro that interview when, the, you know, like on the fix when he was actually interviewing her. Yes, man. Um, Spice, that whole entire moment where she tell him about in blue shoes, etc. That was when she was promoting her uh, um, her mixtape, Captured. And how the strategy now is good. The conversation now has expired, so you can do me a favor. And so in that moment she was talking heavily about uh, colorism and all of that like she never business but when I was saying she was promoting captured and discriminate me all the while I feel like I'm gonna do it to me black I'm gonna do it black colorism uno I one of the reasons why I'm singing this song but you see on that captured mixtape was the single black hypocrisy now Spice took her away from social media she took a break from social media a highway tire it was and then she returned with this new image and right after bam the song black hypocrisy i'm too black for you i please you do i look how you want then I remember when she and her team them that is pretty pretty dancing rebel and tc when them they have the little falling out and the back and forth on the live them on social media right after that what song did spice drop mama used to tell me Friends not good for your girl. Jesus Christ, this woman is genius. And then also she actually posted a video with her and her son um, being arrested by police. People got concerned. And then a couple days later, we found out that it was for a music video called Popo. Then when Spice had her latest album now, she decided to just like amp up the promotion and she gave a teaser, uncensored teaser on Twitter and then bam, a couple days later you realize that um, it was just to promote the single called Tape Measure and there was no really naked nude version. And so just when the momentum kind of eased down a bit, Spice is just like, you know what, another master plan for them. And it seems that she might have done this entire thing to, I guess, um, promote this song that is called Same Mouth. But I, I am just like totally confused. I am still holding on to hope that maybe something actually happened and she's just choosing to seize the moment in some weird twisted way. But if we are to follow the history of Spice, like she understands controversy and how to market a particular single. And so this would be very on brand for the artist. No, I think what is confusing a lot of people is that, you know, once you have a, a public figure, you sometimes don't know who you really know. I mean, I'm going to tell you, this is what I talked about on the countdown. Once you are in the social media space, there is you, your personal self, and your brand self. And there are certain decisions that Grace Hamilton would not make, but Spice would make. Because it would be on brand for Spice, but probably not on brand for Grace Hamilton. And sometimes that's how we get caught up because we think we know the person when all we know is the brand. And that is the difference. Once again, I tell you, social media is very performative. And so take this as a lesson to not be so caught up and so wrapped up into everything that you see. Because I can post five hours right now and I don't own one of them. But when we post it, 
you know, we'll be like, congratulations, oh my God, so proud of you, your hard work, because that is what you see. But let this serve as a reminder that when you see things and conversations, don't get too caught up, too invested, because sometimes it hits home, you know. We all go through it, but just remember that this social media space can be very performative, so just kind of regulate your feelings um, and how you, you know, how you get, how you respond and get caught up accordingly. That is all I would have to say. Now there's an update on the update that says that Spice remains under close medical supervision. Now it also says that speculation about a musical stunt using illness is false. Can I get a wow? Wow! No, this entire situation is just quite bizarre. No, Spice, she is great. She does a good job at merging the reality with her proclivity for the performative nature of these type of dancehall s controversies and you know drama um oftentimes leaving onlookers her fans to decipher what is true and what's not so even in the midst of something that could be real spice understands how to find value and how to monetize um a moment and so i think it's just weed upon the sidelines now that no know what really are going but yes so that is the spice way now when it comes to how do i feel about it um if she did this particular outlandish thing for promotion, I mean, I don't think that this was the best. I don't think this was the ideal way to promote it, especially that the message of the song is saying that people are wish for your fall and they want bad for you. But the outpouring of um, messages that, that were online was people actually being concerned and very worried about Spice's health. I don't recall seeing a bag of people like, being happy that Spice was in this situation. The angel who she and Spice have beef, beef even came out and offered up support. People were actually concerned, so much so to the point where um, people are cussed off the page, cussed off this. Spice's fans were honestly worried. You get me? The best is like they were really worried and emotional about it. So I don't think like toying with somebody's emotion like that would have been the ideal way to promote it even though she was still being on brand and so i'm just waiting to see what she will share to see if this was i mean i know i i at this point i mean i know i don't know how to explain it how to understand it we just have to wait until spice says something that's if she chooses to Yes, so readers, let me know what you thought of this entire spice ordeal, this spice situation. Um, do you think that something actually happened or do you feel that like this was just a PR stunt, a promo stunt? Sound off below. Well, that is it now, readers. We've come to the end of another social media top 10 countdown. Ensure that you hit the thumbs up button, yeah, hit the like button, turn on your post notifications. Please to leave a comment. Let me know what was your favorite part of the social media countdown. Do not forget to subscribe, be readers. Subscribe as I've been telling you subscribe you're watching this subscribe you're on the live subscribe take your mother your father your cousin auntie phone take it and just like subscribe from for them phone okay all right um if you you know follow me on my social media that is at the bear show on facebook instagram tiktok snapchat twitter all over and to advertise within the social media countdown or to reach out to me for any other type of booking um send an email to booking.dutterbearshow at gmail.com right here right here right here okay take care until next time <laughs> The dirty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner I'm coming soon. All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth. Like, yo, hey, box cover, I'm cover all the topics like a evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them. Soak me, I will have me another week, yo, just tune in. Zine.